Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plant. Today we're talking about whatever he says, do it. Stay right here. So glad you're with me today. I know it's right in the middle of the Christmas season. You may be decorating or shopping or, or not really even in the mood. <laughs> and you know, if you're struggling in life, you know, really needing a miracle, oh, I'm glad you're here. I've been stirred up about on whatever God says, do it. Whatever he's leading you to do, step out. Even if it makes no sense in the natural, many times when we step out in faith, it feels like wearing a toboggan in July. It's, it's just not right. It doesn't make sense to our mind or, or our feelings or our flesh. You know, it's just crawling, but we'll step out. That's where the miracle is. You know, you know where I'm thinking about in, in the wedding there in John 2, where uh, the mother of Jesus, Mary, goes to him and says, Hey, they're out of wine here. What can you do? And she goes over to the servants and says, Whatever he says to do, do it. And I love that because she knew she had to prep the team that whatever he was going to do was going to be a miracle. And it wasn't going to make sense to the natural. No one, it wasn't going to add up. You know, you couldn't look around and think, oh, that makes sense. Because uh, she knew in her dealings with the Lord. You know, when she was a young lady that the angel of the Lord came to her and said, you will have a baby. She said, I have never known a man. They said, well, the Spirit of God is going to come upon you. And, you know, she, she's looked there and the, and the angel told her, now, with God, all things are possible. So she said, according to your word, be it unto me. And so she had to get over the natural, get over this limitations of what we see and feel and hear. And she had to know if you'll step out, you can see a miracle. So she prepped that team there at the wedding. Whatever Jesus says, do it. He said, take those uh, vats, take those vessels, fill them up to the brim. And they did that. And they saw the first miracle of Jesus' ministry there. So in your life today, I'm encouraging you. We need to be like Mary and just say, be it unto us, Lord. Let your word come to pass in our lives. We're not going to be fearful about it. We're going to trust you. And go ahead and say, whatever he says, let's do it. There is a time in our life where our business was doing terrible. We had a pizza restaurant and you know, it was really losing money. We weren't good at managing it and we were seeking God. We need a buyer. And I was just praying, you know, and he instructed me, what would you do if you had a buyer? I want you to act like you have it. So I had to remember this Bible lesson, you know, Mary said, be it unto me, be it unto me, whatever he says, do it. So I felt my heart. He said, now praise me like you have a buyer. So I went to my bedroom, I shut the door, and it did feel like putting that toboggan on in July, those mittens in August. It wasn't right. You know, I felt like I need to call the banks or talk to more business people. But no, he said, go in your bedroom and I like you have it. Go ahead and praise me. Thank me for it. So, Thank you, God. I have a buyer. Thank you, Lord. It wasn't too long after that that the bank called with the buyer. That was miraculous. <laughs> we had to step out of our natural thinking and all of our working to try to make it come to pass. If we would just trust God, he could bring it to bow. Now, there's things in your life today that you're going to have to say, be it unto me. Lord, what your word said, whatever you say, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to trust the things I see, everything in this natural that is opposite to the blessing of God. I'm going to trust you. Tell me what to do, Lord, and I'll do it. You know, his word is full of instructions to praise him when you don't see the answer, to go ahead and speak to that mountain and cast it into the sea. He'll give you words to say. He'll give you direction to see that miracle come to pass. And I'm telling you, whatever he says, do it. And that's how you'll stick with the plans he has for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just love hearing what God is doing in your life. It encourages all of us. All of your likes, your love, especially your shares. You get this out to new people each and every week. If you're on YouTube, go ahead, subscribe. Leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. If you're on Facebook, like this page because each and every week we are bringing you a brand new message from our hearts to yours to help you stick with the plan.